M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Elinco DJ MD5 VHF, UHF and DMR radio with built-in GPS. Right, you can see the radio, we've got our course on here. Now let's create one channel. So the first thing we're going to do is just add one contact. So let's double click here and we're going to put in just talk group 91 for now. So it's 91. We're going to name it TG91 and it's a group call and then the ID number is 91. That's the most important thing. And we're just going to click OK. So we need that contact in there to create a channel. Then we're going to go to a zone. We're going to name the first zone by double clicking it. So let me just show you. I don't want to go too fast. So up here zone double click and then we're gonna when we double click where it says zone here double click we can just put in my hotspots for now we'll call it my hotspots plural and we just click OK right so if we've not put nothing in there yet we've got channel A and channel B for the main and sub band zone channels eight so let's just go to channel which is up here above double click channel and it's you know there's the eight channels that it says and i think i'm going to put it on channel one so we'll double click channel one like so and we're going to call it um jumbo hotspot it's my jumbo hotspot okay and the frequency of that on mine, on the received frequency, is 431.550. And same goes for transmit. Dot five five zero. It's digital, so we'll change that to digital. It's my hotspot, so we'll keep the power on low, I think. Actually, that'll be too low. Put it on medium. Um, there you are, medium for now. Bandwidth doesn't matter. TX Smith, we're not going to change any of that. Radio ID, that's already in there. Slot 2 we'll use. Color code 1, so we've got my call signs in there automatically. Uh, slot 2, and then we don't, I'm not going to use group list, so I'll just put none for now. And then what we're going to do is click contact, and we're going to find number 91 that we programmed. It looks like we didn't program the right place for contact, so that's fine. Let's go to contacts. We will find it. Contact list. Yeah, so the place you go is talk group lists here. Yeah. Double tick talk group list, and I've created two already. Let's create one more. So you go to number three here, double click the line, and then let's do call this one two, three, five, one chat it's group call and we can put in the DMR ID that no the the number of the talk group is what you want is two three five one click OK we've got a third one there we can might as well add the disconnect one while we're here so we'll go like so double click line number four put in four thousand for disconnect and you I think you can actually do that one as a private call and then we'll do DMR number is 4000 click OK and should we do para which is that it will repeat back at you so we'll go double click number five we'll call it parrot and again I think you can do that in private and we're actually going to call it 9990 now if it's not private I'll go back and change it click OK so we've created a few um, talk group numbers there so let's go back to channel now we've gonna click here number one channel where my hotspot is and we need to see it says contact I've already done it but you have to click it there and then select the one you want to use. So we want to use uh, talk group 91, which is this one here. Okay, we've done that. 
And as we do this, we're saving. So go at the top here and click save. Like that. Otherwise, you get you don't want to lose it. So I think we'll... Let's um, I'll parrot now. So I wonder if we can copy this line. Copy. Not sure. I'm not really... Paste. Yeah, it looks like we can. So we can copy and paste. And all we've got to do then is when we double click the channel, we all we've got to do is change that to para. Which is we've done. Para and then change the name of course as well. It's the same frequency. Para. There you go. Done para. And let's click let's just send that to my radio for now. So we'll go right to radio, click OK. Now, I wonder if we can tell it where we want it to boot so we know what's on the screen. Let's have a look here. Talk groups, optional settings. Let's try that. Power on. Welcome. Power on password. Uh, work mode. Display frequency VFO my hotspots. Lots of settings here. Yeah? So what we did, we clicked optional settings, and we went to work mode, and we told it to display the channel here, yeah? and we had the choice to choose memories, and we've chose memories. And you will probably hear the radio talk in a sec because it's working fine. Very nice looking screen. So we'll just look at some of the other settings as we go through. Display. We've got colours that we can choose some different colours here. Uh, let's have a look now. Call sign display colour is red. We haven't loaded the CSV file. We're going to do that in a separate video, but it's not hard. So call sign display is red. Is that the only color we can choose? Can't see any other colors. Brightness. This is the GPS model. Power save, VFO scan, auto repeater, key function. So I think that's enough just for now to show you that, um, you know, just to get it up and running, power on. We can change that if we wanted to. I think what I'll do, I'll probably set the B section so it's VFO mode for now. So go back to work mode. And on the B section, actually, I wouldn't mind adding um, an analog channel like my local repeater. Let's do that before we end this video. So what we'll do, we'll go to zone. We'll uh, add another zone. So we'll call it repeaters. And then we'll go FM, meaning FM analog. That's the zone. Like so. So we now have an extra zone. Did I not save that? Let's do it again. Um, repeaters. I'll probably have to put one channel in. So let's just add channel three in for now. I think that's why I never saved. FM, put one channel in for now, click OK, yeah, that's saved now. Now we'll go up to channel, and we'll choose channel number three, and we're going to make this one analog, like so. So channel type, analog, there you go. And then we're going to put in 430.925, which is GB3FI, and the you don't put shift, you put receive and transmit. So you go 438.575, which is the TX analog. We'll do high power. We don't have to worry about digital stuff because it's not a digital one. We do need to get the tone in there. So just on encode, we're going to put CTCSS and we're going to select 77, like so. 77 there you go right and I think that's all good can't think of anything else we need to add there this radio does do APRS we're not doing APRS now 
So we'll click, oh, we need to name it. GB3FI. Click OK. So now we've created that channel. We just need to put it into our zone. So we go to zone. It might already be in there. Zone at the top here. Double click repeaters. Yeah, it's already in there, but you can add, you can you see you could add more. So we'll click OK for now, and then we're going to save that. OK. Like so. And then we're going to write it to our radio. In the next video, we'll probably load the CSV file so we can see all the names come up. And what I will do, actually, it does load very fast, just to let you know. Quite pleased with how it works on a micro USB. That makes it so much easier. Um, what I'm going to do is do it so it displays the bottom half of, of GB3FI. So all you do is go to optional settings, work mode, and see here where we've chosen my hotspots. We just want to choose, um, let me think now, we want to choose FM repeaters. Let me find it. So optional settings and work mode and go down to FM repeaters and it will show that now on our screen. So have a look, main channel set, A or B. Let's send it. Click OK and then right and then right to radio and hopefully on the A section, oh there's someone talking, so when there's someone talking that stops it sending it. So let's just try it again. I just unplug my hotspot basically. Okay, let's write it again. Click write and click OK. And then we'll have a listen, then we'll end the video and we'll talk about CSV files next. So it does write very quick and it's rebooting. Now if I turn up the volume, we should be able to access A and B band. There you go, and nothing on my jumbo hotspot at the moment. Okay, so it's booted up and we can just push the A and B button, which is underneath the PTT, like that, A and B. We're on B and then we'll key up the repeater. We're just on a rubber duck here. There you are, that's our local repeater. And that's it. And then when our hotspot comes to life on the A band, that will come through as well. There you are, we've got some digital contacts coming in. You just for, to go to the A band, you just push underneath the PTT. A and B. It will only receive one at a time. Um, you can see my nice hotspot there. It's DV Mega. Uh, very nice, made by uh, Carl. Just look on Facebook. So we're just waiting for some activity here. Now, if we key up, you'll see that my call sign will come up as well. So yeah, so far impressions are it's a very nice solid little device and it works well. I'll try and get some more color on the screen and get the CSV file in there. I think it's 160,000 so we need to be careful we don't put too much in there. So yeah, so this video is really just to program a couple of channels from scratch and, and get you up and running, get your DMR number in there, call sign and just get you up and running with this radio. And the number one thing we've learned that I didn't know was that it is uh, micro USB programmable, so you don't need a special lead for it. I've just used a normal micro USB lead that I I'm also using in my hotspot there. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. And more videos on the Elinco DJMD5 to come. Bye for now.